Hello there. In the case you need some extra buttons on your SQ, you can also use touch over C and turn an iPad or an iPhone into an extra controller. But if you already have a computer besides your SQ available, like here the Mac Mini, the world of Stream Deck also opens. I got a little one here, only six buttons, but it can function as an six extra buttons for your SQ. Let's have a look at some uh, examples. I made a DCA sp spill, they say I spill one, you see there, two, three, four, five, one, or no DCA spills. Uh, that frees the buttons on the SQ for other tasks. The same goes for uh, mute groups. Yeah, I got six mute groups, you can see that also on the iPad. And I saved already uh, let's see, 10 buttons for other tasks on the SQ. But very nice is, extra nice I think, is that should you have the wish to control a parameter that you can normally not access via MIDI, uh, now with a Mac Mini working in the background and using mixing stations as a kind of a hub, you can. Because if I turn, I hope you can see it there, let's, let's focus them on there. Can I do that? Yeah, I hope so. If you here look at the decay time, normal, normally you would select it and turn the yellow knob to change it. You can see on the stream deck, there's a fader following what I'm doing here. But what if I don't have this in the display, but some, something totally different? I can also change, look there the decay time or the pre-delay time on this little machine. Why could that be handy? Because if you're not, if you don't have the FX and the right, uh, in this case, reverb in front of you, you can still access one or two or whatever parameters you think are important to you in that moment. Well, I thought what would be nice to share it.